is Leilani Kai versus the WWF Women's Champion Alundra Blaze. You've already won the belt before appearing on pay-per-view. How about that? Huh? Here is a quick history of the WWF Women's Championship. <laughs> a quick, his- a quick history quick on history. women's wrestling. Human trafficker Fabulous Moolah <laughs> had been NWA Women's Champion since 1956 and when WWF withdrew from the NWA in 83, recognised her as the WWF Women's Champion. Even though she actually lost and regained it a few times, WWF don't recognise it and as such held it for 28 years which is almost as long as Triple H. (laughs) (laughs) In July 84, Wendy Richter won the WWF Women's Belt at the Brawl to end it all, dropping it to Leilani Kai the following year's war to settle the score and getting it back at WrestleMania 1. But then it all turns sour. Richter hasn't signed a new deal, so WWF Vince wants the belt off her. Spider Lady, aka Mula in a mask, shot on her, pinning her, taking her belt in what's now known as the original screw job. Post match, Richter tore at her mask to actually see who it was that did it to her. Brett faced and furious, Richter left the arena in her gear, took a cab to the airport, and flew out of New York and the WWF. In 18 months, the women's division was dead. The title technically existed, but it was only defended on house shows. Like, Sensational Sherry was champion. I was like, why am I only hearing about this now? And that was it for the next four years. Fast forward to Rumble 89 and Rockin' Robin toppling the Terminator, Judy Martin. (laughs) Question, did Vince give a shit about women's wrestling in 89? I.e., what was their women's champion doing at WrestleMania 5? The answer, singing America the Beautiful. And that's it. Oh, that's right. Mm. It's not too bad. That's a prominent place on the show. For a wrestler. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe Coco Beware (laughs) could do it. You know, but here, Brett. (laughs) When Rock and Robin left in 1990, WWF retired the belt, this time after 16 months. The following contest is the final match of the tournament to determine the World Wrestling Federation Women's Champion. And now, three years later, WWF are resurrecting the division for a third time. In December of 93, on All-American Wrestling, Blaze beat Heidi Lee Morgan in the tournament finals for the vacant Women's Championship, bringing up this matchup. It's coming off the rope. Now, Leilani must have been around us. Right in. Oh. back. Nicely done. That could do it. Yeah. Oh. And a successful title to fix. Even you have to be impressed, King. No, I was not impressed. The WWF's first flirting with women's wrestling with Moolah, Wendy Richter, that lasted one year, six months. Second time round with Rock and Robin, lasted one year, four months. How long would Vince be interested in women's wrestling with a Lundra Blaze? Oh, he's done after the match. Oh, uh, that's, that's not too bad, <laughs> technically. Uh, she would last two years. Oh, wow. Yeah. How many televised matches <laughs> did she have? <laughs> she had as <laughs> <this is> many. <laughs> uh, Blaze left for WCW and infamously, Bischoff convinced her to bring the WWF women's title on Nitro and bin it live on air. She didn't want to do it. He convinced her. Vince cancelled the division for almost three years. And that's what I think of the WWF Women's Championship belt. So the Women's Division and the Egg Championship was resurrected September of 98 when Jacqueline beat Sable. It was hardly a victory for women. Sure, Deborah won it when she lost the evening gown match and Sean was like, whoever gets stripped wins. (laughs) 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 Women's champion. She lost her gown, but she won the title. That's the ruling from the commissioner. It evolved into a more prominent position with China's run in 2001. You know, Trish, Molly, Jazz, Lita, Victoria propping up the division in the ruthless aggression era. The next big split happened over the summer of 2008 when Vicky Guerrero unveiled the SmackDown Divas Championship to rival Raw's Women's Championship. The butterfly belt? Mm. Uh. So each brand has a counterpart. So the women's belt was co-held by Lay Cool in a cool kind of half belt cracked design. Did you like that? Mm -hmm. Until 2010, until the title was retired at Night of Champions that year, where the championship was unified with the Divas belt and then the women's belt was dropped. If any 
anyone is to become the undefined champion of divas, it is me. In general, women's wrestling, WWE, rightly regarded as a joke, the piss break match up until the 2010s. Like, if you ever watch these matches back, there's always multiple botches and you're way worse than the men. So, yeah. They were terrible. Yeah, like, we can grade you on a curve if you want. I mean, they were. But then you admit that there's a curve. Yes, ab- absolutely. They were literally only there because they were hot birds, you know? Yeah, it, w- it wasn't a wrestling contest. That you couldn't like, and it's th- thing is, they don't have as big muscle mass as well, so they can't train as hard. You can't take as many bumps, and so you end up being worse wrestlers in mm-hmm. general. So, shout out to my boy Fit Finley for uh, turning the women's wrestling in the WWE. Yeah, uh, he he made it good. Mm. Even great women's champion AJ graduated kind of beyond being champion to Raw general manager, and that's higher on the totem pole at the time. Uh, match quality didn't kick into high gear until your boy finally. <laughs> started working on WWE NXT with the four horsewomen Becky, Charlotte, Bailey, Sasha started showcasing their talent on NXT and on the main roster culminating at the women's title match at the rightful main event of WrestleMania 35 the Baxter winning the Raw Women's Championship Shoulders down! Shoulders down! Do it! Becky Lynch takes it all tonight! So even though it's taken literally decades and multiple failed attempts for WWE to actually push a women's division, it's placed prominently now. You can enjoy all of the benefits men have, like going to Saudi Arabia and being (laughs) left there. (laughs) And having a bottle thrown at you when you're doing your fucking entrance. Who was that? Natty. It was really nasty. And no, there's no need for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can enjoy all the awful booking and fuck finishes like the guys do. I need more fiend lighting, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sin Cara yeah. lighting. And also Kane. He had that 90s. So I loved it. Apparently the wrestling world doesn't. Silver lining for Wendy Richter. Uh, she went to the Hall of Fame in 2010. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> and Alundra Blaze in 2015. Yeah. I for the two of them. This diva will never be subdued. WWE, thank you and good night. Woo! Ah! This is ah! exactly what I've been talking about, having to deal with women like you all of these years. Alundra Blaze had an appearance on Raw this year In where she became the 24-7 champion. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Holy smokes, not again! <laughs> 